Pass. I have no idea where that is, but uh, there we go. We're at South Pass. Yay. Um, yeah, so if you guys want to see some real StarCraft, see, check out sc2gg.com. And it looks like we're talking to some Indians, but I didn't really want to read this stuff. Uh, it's just too depressing and too educational. So, um, Well, I do read it. I, it seems I skip it pretty quickly, though. Uh, and this this young girl is teaching the the lessons about going at a slower pace, uh, which is really important. And looks like I'm walking forward and I'm going as all pros do towards the river crossings, because I don't ever have to buy anything. Jeez, I just hunt for everything I need. Bad water here. This is what we need to see. Very little water. And Toss Girl is once again exhausted from her long nights. And it seems that we're at the next river crossing, Green River Crossing. And it's July 4th. Nice. And let's see what kind of risk we're going to take here at this river crossing. Looks like we're going to be facing a river that is 20 feet deep in the middle. So, I think we're going to cock it. No, we're going to take a ferry across. $5. That's like the equivalent to like $250 nowadays or something like that. So, it looks like ferry is something like 100% foolproof though. So, uh, we do get our, ourselves safely across. So what I was saying was, if you want to see some real StarCraft, check out sc2gd.com. Uh, I say this all the time, but it's a great site. You should check it out. And it looks like I'm still trying to hunt. A different tile set here. Looks like I'm in the mountainous tile set. I wasn't able to get food. I got three pounds of food this time. So not doing too well, but looks like I sniped a bear finally. Uh, and a rabbit. Um, and looks like I finally got some meat. And my health is poor now. Great. Uh, not too good. Looks like... A thief comes along during the night and steals one set of clothing. Well, that's not too bad. I don't know if you guys ever played this board game called Catan. Settlers of Catan. But it is an absolutely amazing board game for adults. Well, it's not like an adult board game. It's a trading board game with uh, with resources and uh, trading and thieves that steal things from you. If you, if you. if you guys play it, you know what I'm talking about. Looks like we're at Soda Springs now. And there's Toss Girl uh, in the back there getting her feet wet. Not bad, not bad. And not as looking on the left. Uh, <laughs> so let me know what you guys think about the season so far in the MSL and the OSL. Tell me your opinions. Tell me what you think. Who are your favorites to win. I have to say, for the for both seasons, I'm just th I just think it's going to be really hard. I think it's going to be the onus is going to be for a player to come and defeat Flash. Um, Flash really is just so on top of his game, and he's still rising. That's the thing. Most kids are just, you know, most, most of the pros peak at 18 or 19 or tw in their early 20s and Flash is already at the height of pro level at 15 barely 16 I think and so we're skipping to our Lou here at Fort Hall so I, I think it's just uh, he has great potential as long as he doesn't I don't know, take some kind of career nosedive and, and just get depressed or do drugs or something like that I'm sure you won't but um, looks like we're just looking around and we're going towards a Snake River Crossing uh, yeah inadequate grass uh, so we're going to go hunting again, we get two pounds of food, so not the best uh, area, not not able to shoot food. And every time we do this, we do lose a day, which we're starving to death, basically sitting around waiting for uh, for Boxer to give us some bear. And it looks like Boxer actually shoots a bear, so good work there, Lim Yuan. We're going to have enough food here to feed uh, Firebat Hero and his, his lazy ass tonight. It looks like... Uh, looks like Boxer's actually going to take out some of his aggression here on the bear. Looks like uh, he's just expending some bullets in there. I'm not sure if you were able to tell, but uh, that bear just, he just wanted to make sure that bear was dead. And looks like uh, right afterwards we lose our trail, so not very helpful there. <clears throat> Still having very little water, but that's to be expected at this point. And bad water, not good for us. It looks like we take down a deer, 64 pounds. Uh, and we continue because this place sucks. Don't want to stick around here too long. And looks like we're losing our trail pretty often here. Um, continuing our hunting spree. And looks like we're continuing hunting. Very nice. So, as you can see, Oregon Trail, very, uh, very micro-intense game here. Uh, definitely, definitely a lot of decisions. Hey, look, it's much! Uh, yeah, Snake River Crossing. Um... If you ever watch him play, you know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Uh, and looks like we're at another snake crossing, uh, crossing it. We're going to hire an Indian to cross. Looks like they want three sets of clothing, though. This one wants two sets of clothing. 
this one wants two sets of clothing, and I think I'm just gonna screw it because they want too much of my clothing, and I have basically no clothing after after losing most of it already. And it looks like I'm just gonna cock the river. Let's see what happens. Crossing the river right now, and it looks like I make it across. No troubles. Very pro move there. Uh, decided to take the risk, and the gamble played off for me because I'm still alive and my health is good. But Tosca has dysentery now. Not as cool as cholera of a way to go, but you could certainly die of dysentery, and that's kind of hot anyway. Just seriously, I think it's awesome there's girls playing StarCraft. I really, I, I have to say, I mean, honestly, it's like the pro girl poker players. And it looks like uh, Toss Girl's naked here, uh, and some girl is poking at something at her. Okay, interesting, Fort Boise. Um, I think it's great that there's girls playing. I mean, there's, there's girls playing... In, what was I saying? I'm surprised though that honestly, like just in pro poker, just like in pro poker, why aren't the girls winning major tournaments? I mean, there's a couple of them, like Annie Duke and uh, Jennifer Harmon. They're okay, but they just don't win the biggest ones, and it just doesn't make sense. It's just like StarCraft. I mean, there's absolutely no physical skill involved, uh, other than hand-eye coordination and poker. It's all mathematical. It's in your head, and yet why? Are, why? Are, why aren't there any, you know, women in the finals of the OSL? It annoys me. I want more women to play StarCraft, uh, just just so we can have a female winner. You know, it's just just one of my dreams. One thing I want my children to see one day is a world where women can can win uh, poker tournaments and StarCraft tournaments. It looks like we're at the Blue Mountains right now. I have no idea where that is, but we're we're doing pretty well actually so far this game. And it looks like we're gonna go for the Dallas. Uh, because that is the river, I do remember this, and you have a very pro sort of um, river scene there. One of my oxen has died, and looks like I'm not even going to bother hunting. No, I'm going to go hunting one more time. I do see the end coming up pretty soon there, and I'm just checking the map to make sure I am almost done with this uh, trail here. It looks like I go hunting and catch nothing. Go hunting and I get a bear, and I think that's going to be enough for me to go charge right down in the middle here. And the other thing I wanted to make a little rant about, and Toscar has a fever, that's too bad, uh, is I think there's nothing wrong with Fire Red Hero. Um, I mean, I'm not like uh, Rise, and I don't adore him, but I think he's hilarious. I think every sport needs a heel, pretty much, uh, as they call those um, those players and those people in uh, pro wrestling who uh, who just get, who are the villains, basically, the characters who are the villains, uh, just because you need people to cheer against, and you have that in in every sport, you know. Like uh, look at poker again. Look at Phil Hellmuth. Um, he's you know someone you'd love to hate, but everyone loves to watch him. And the thing is, people. It's a really smart uh, career decision for Firebread Hero because, in honesty, he's just some kind of mediocre Terran player. But for the a mediocre Terran player, he gets like ten times the publicity when he when he plays a game. He gets as much as like the top pro players do. And it's a great career move. And uh, by the way, this is uh, another little action scene in Oregon Trail. I have to maneuver the maneuver the wagon uh, ferry thing to avoid the rocks. And then I have to land. This is really tricky here, by the way. It looks like I'm um, skillfully clearing all the rocks here. Not wanting to lose any of my men this late in the game. And it looks like... Or my woman, rather. Uh, I wish she was my woman. But she's not, unfortunately. Because I don't have any StarCraft skills. And I don't speak Korean. And... Oh, Toss Girl. Anyway, okay, it looks like I've landed safely in Oregon! That's right, I am at the end of the Oregon Trail, and uh, the Willamette Valley, that's right. Uh, I'm going to be hanging out with hippies who smoke a lot of pot um, in Oregon. And it looks like, for going as a farmer, my points are tripled, and it looks like I am at 5,088 points. And let's see if we qualify for the top 10 of the Oregon Trail. Do we qualify? And we'll see pretty soon. So thanks for watching this video and for watching all the other videos. Um, hope you enjoyed this long tribute video to one of my favorite games. And uh, thanks for uh, sticking by with me in the last two months. Um, I, I just realized it's only been two months since I started commentating. I uh, haven't had a lot to do in the last two months, honestly. But I am uh, going to be switching jobs pretty soon and applying to law school, actually. So I might not be able to produce as many videos in the next couple months. And it looks like we have Love Jadong. Uh, because Jadong sends his love even though he was eliminated in the group stages. He couldn't make it onto the final wagon. So, but he sends his love. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. This is Collar signing off.